Why, hello, and welcome to another episode of First Chances with Chance. And in today's video and episode, we're doing another uh, special. You want to know what it is? There's not really a topic for this week's episode. So I'm pulling in current events that are going on. And just stuff that's happening in my life. So what are we waiting for? Let's get right into it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off kind of similar with how we do it in the regular episodes is we start off with my personal stuff. Yes, I got a headband on because my hair is in that in between length where I can't really tie it back yet. I mean, I could tie it back. It's just the sides will look funny um and also the length that my hair is is in my eyes on constant so my mom constantly was complaining about how it uh, looks like a mess i shaved today so it definitely doesn't look like as much like a mess but i've been drinking hair skin and nails stuff again and my facial hair has just been going out of control and we're still working on the house which is obviously why you see me outside again I'm just waiting for mom to go back to work before I can go back inside because the tile in the living room is pretty much done I just can't film in the living room right now because mom's in there so yeah and i'm not like can you please move or can you go to your bedroom no because this no yeah, no not gonna happen um we had to go to the bank today because yesterday and the day before i tried using my card one i tried using my card online and it wasn't working yeah my debit card um, because I just recently signed up for a new car, uh, like a checking account, which I got the red card now, so, yeah, um, yeah, debit red card, because I don't have credit, I have to build my credit, and that will be the next step. Whew, I got a lot to do. Now, with the credit card, I'd only be pretty much paying my bills with knowing that I already have enough money to pay them anyway so like I'm already paying off the credit card each month um, and building credit that way because if I am to put my name on a vehicle or a apartment I have to be able to have good credit and be able to show that I'm trustworthy enough to pay on time so with the car they say oh you gotta take out a loan no I'm trying to save up enough money to be able to technically pay the whole car outright but I want to be able to make payments to also help with the um, pay with or well pay for huh oh pay for the car like I want to be able to have enough money to be out pay it outright but like know that I have enough money to still make the payments and pretty much like pay it off um or make payments here and there you're gonna have that uh, the money in my savings that way yeah and then eventually go and do like the delivery services cause People keep saying, oh, I make enough money in such and such amount of days to be able to pay my rent. Like, that's all fine and dandy, but, like, at least you're making your own schedule. Like, that's one thing I want to be able to do is make my own schedule, uh, especially with that kind of stuff. Because it just makes a lot more sense with me doing, so doing, like, the YouTube and everything, making these podcasts like episodes I still have to have, have enough time to be able to do that edit and I want to be able to want to bring my gaming channel back 
Um, I just recently ordered the preservative for my setting spray that I'm doing. It's supposed to be like for lotions and creams, which still is like skincare and everything. It's good for this like to be able to go on the skin, which is a plus. And it's a natural preservative because you know my brand is based around natural beauty. So like natural beauty as in like natural cosmetics and all of that. The first item I'm bringing in is well back is the setting spray making it all the same way that I was making it before the only difference is is that it's gonna be a while before I can actually launch it because this time around I've learned from the last time around and I'm t gonna test out how long the preservative lasts it says online I think like eight months or something which is a plus so that means that I like I want to make sure like make sure that each ingredient doesn't spoil like it did the in the last batch in the only batch before because I want it to be a and I, with my debit card a uh, debit account I can now sell it on Etsy which <coughs> again it won't it'll probably be like a year before I launch it not a year from now but like so next month next year is 2023 so probably 2024 uh, is around will be around the time that uh, that it launches I am um, like six months into 2023 because that would be amazing um Still would be going to school. Uh, speaking of school, I did just pay off my... Well, not pay off my... Because I don't have any student loans. Um, that's one thing that I never want. And I'm glad I go to a, the state college that I go to. Because they're it's super, super affordable. <sighs> well, uh, classes don't start till August 30th. So that is a plus um the ho the kitchen's still being worked on so i have to kind of wait till next year or whenever the stove gets in pretty much to be able to actually start making some of the ingredients for the setting spray uh i cannot believe how big my aloe plant is which is a key ingredient in the setting spray I have to order a I have to order lotus flower like water soluble lotus flower extract speaking of which let me go ahead and look that up because it there's pink lotus flower extract and then there's a, like a different lotus flower extract um pink lotus flower extract I also want to get like a lotus flower tattooed water soluble water soluble So I found it because what there's two different properties like with the pink lotus flower extract it's different than the other lotus flower which it helps with uh, control the amount of sebum that your pores create which doesn't won't allow your um, won't 
get your skin as oily throughout the day which is super good um, I'm definitely would be using my bottle the whole entire time and testing it um, well I'd make two batches one bottle for one and then the other bottle to just sit there because yeah beauty brand owner but let's go ahead and take a quick break and then get right back into the groove of things. Sorry, I'm just in like a little giddy mood right now. So we're back and oh my god. This is like the first day that I've been outside and it hasn't been like super hot. It Right now it's 225. I have my watch on and got some tea with me because we be spilling the tea on this channel sometimes so yeah um but yeah i i have a, like a lot of projects that i want to work on like i've put the book on the back burner for now just because, like, every time that I try to work on it, I just get overwhelmed. And then I've been looking into, like, the number of pages that I want. And, the, like, I did the math on the page count that I have already for the first, like, two or three chapters. And it's only eight pages. So, like, if I was to finish it by the end of the year, which was the original goal, I would have had 30-something chapters. I had to stretch all of the whole story out through the 30-something chapters. And, I mean, it is what it is, like, at, like, towards a certain point, it does switch back and forth between, like, the three main, like, lead characters in it. Um, I definitely want to do, like, a backstory at one point for, like, the villain and everything, but at this point in time, like, I had to put it aside. I was just getting too overwhelmed, like... Not that it's basically like a lot that's going on with the house and everything. My mom's stress and her putting all of that stress on everybody else as well just wasn't, isn't healthy. So like that coming from like with me trying to write the book and me having like all these projects like the podcast, I'm trying to keep up making sure that my YouTube channel has consistent um videos that go up that still fit in my like with me like my personality type of thing it does get like super like stressful after a while but i will definitely pro hopefully be able to pick it back up in the next couple weeks i don't know um because I definitely, and then like next year I want to work on some music with one of my buddies because he's made some beats and I want him to like, I want to do like, I just want us like me and him to be able to like work together. I do have a buddy that was wanting that had said something about like making music I forget who it was but he said that he had a guy um and to just let him know I'm sure I yeah. I'm sure I will remember soon um I think I just recently like met back up with him Get, uh but other than that it's been pretty much like like, I have music in the works, don't get me wrong. Like, I have, like, my first song that I want to do. And then, like, fo songs following in that area. But, like, with all of these projects and everything, I also want to do, like, try getting into acting. But I know that I have to worry about, like, the car first. So, for, like, the acting and everything. Because... Yeah, it. I, if I'm gonna be driving to Miami, I'm not gonna. At this point, it's probably cheaper to take the bus and then take the train to Miami and so on and so forth, which wouldn't be too bad. I just don't like sitting with other people, like that kind of thing. 
with the bus with it being like a small period of time that's fine because I take the I have to take the bus to and from school in the fall um, August 30th no I'm not gonna let you guys know what school I go to cuz I don't need y'all coming up to me and being like oh hey I listen to your podcast I and mean, that'd be cool and all but like whatever I'm sure I'm gonna get more list uh, tell more people about the about this like when I go back to school cuz yeah and then with the whole beauty brand would definitely be cool to get some other people's like ideas about it because I'm taking chemistry too um, I know natural cosmetics doesn't really have anything dealing with like chemistry too or anything but like I do have I also have lip scrubs that or possibly be in the works I just have to figure out how to like make the lip scrub exactly and then figure out from there where like my ingredients because it's all gonna be natural ingredients so I have to be like the flavorings has to be natural um, I could look up right now natural flavorings natural flavorings let's see what this comes up as um so they're all natural flavorings but I also want to do like natural like dye that will not stain lips Natural dye that won't stain lips. Because it's either that or I do like the juices of like the fruit. Um, like with orange I would do like orange juice add the natural preservative into it like that'd be literally the go-to preservative for the brand um it the first couple products won't be the lip scrubs I do have the con uh, couple containers for lip scrub for like sample lip scrubs that I want to make um but like with orange juice orange juice does go bad so like with the natural preservative then you could do that but then you're also like like I wanted to look like a, if I was to do orange sickle or something like that I'd want to do a like a orange have a the have the lip scrub have an orange tint to it kind of like yes Jeffree Stars but also have it my own because it's gonna be I want it to be all natural like that is a guarantee so it does it will take longer like not as long for me because it all's worked in my head so like let's say mascara I'd use a, a gel consistency that I know will dry fast so like I know aloe dries fast like that gel it dries fast but then you also need it to be a gel like yeah gel like consistency not too clumpy and, and stuff like that so with me thinking about all of that it works in my head like these ingredients come and in, come to the works and I don't know where I thought of like lotus flower extract it just like came to me kind of like how the book came to me in high school so yeah um so yeah that's pretty much what's been going on yes I'm still at Target unfortunately um I do know that I want to try to get a car next year so I'm still saving up but I like once I get the car 
that I could <sighs> like I want to talk to some people that do like the delivery services at Target and everything and like figure out like how much they make in a day with this area because that will determine how much I really like if I go for it or not like the bigger ones obviously you're getting a lot more money than that but there are the stingy people that don't tip so yeah um let's go ahead and take another break and we shall be back with some current events because a lot's been happening recently wow we're already back so, yes, it has been a busy, crazy world that we are in at the moment. Let's see. Pulling up some current events. Well... We already know that we cannot trust Wikipedia, especially if you've been in an English class or anything like that where you've had to write an essay, because those classes and those professors will not let you cite Wikipedia, because I know, I've known this for quite a while. You're actually able to create a Wikipedia account and edit stuff in the history so let's go to the new york times summer reading wait what summer reading contest week six what got your attention in the times this week lesson of the day what would the end of row mean which is stupid like why on earth are you gonna end roe v wade because like they've already passed it like and then It's just stupid because now they're targeting like the LGBT plus 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 community and we have nowhere to go. After treatment comes a new battle and cancer patients aren't prepared. Black, white, and somewhere in between. Okay, this just ain't helping. Um, let's talk about the Roe v. Wade. Uh, overturning. Current events. So, Supreme Court, this is also in the New York Times. Wow. Um,. Let me drink some of my tea before I spill it. Ah. Uh much better supreme court and roe v wade on june 24th 2022 the supreme court overturned roe v wade eliminating the constitutional right to an abortion after almost 50 years this will lead to all but total bans on the procedure in about half of the states Texas sues Biden administration over access to emergency medical abortions. Recent administrative guidance to hospitals said doctors could perform abortions in emergency situations if complications posed a threat to the health or life of the mother. Which it's understandable because again, my mom had had, had to have an abortion or she would have died for the baby before me. The limb, one, the limbs weren't, well, no, it wouldn't, she wouldn't have died. Well, there would have been birth complications. Uh, she could have actually died. It could have caused her problems. The 
pay, uh, the baby problems, more problems than she already would have had. And she said, both my parents have said that it would have split them up. So that would not have been good. Um, and had the, they kept that baby, I would not be here to be talking to you guys. So mm, that wouldn't be good either. Um, where abortion, uh, tracking the stage where abortion is now banned. The New York Times is tracking the status of abortion laws in which state following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. So, ban, uh, the states that have a ban in effect is South Dakota, Wyoming. Oh, we're able to, wait, what? Man, I have to make an account. I ain't making no account. And I'm not subscribing either to the New York Times. I'm just trying to zoom in on this damn picture. South Dakota, Wisconsin. Wait, what? South Dakota, Wisconsin, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. I don't know what MO is, but Mississippi, Alabama are all, all have a ban in effect. Expected soon is Idaho, Wyoming, North Dakota, Tennessee, and ban blocked is in Utah, Arizona, and Louisiana, and Kentucky. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to go back. FDA on FDA to weigh over the counter sale of contraceptive pill. Wait, what? The first U.S. application for sale of a non-prescription birth control pill has taken a new meaning after the Supreme Court decision ending the constitutional right to abortion, which would be stupid. Like, so you're pretty much just saying not to have sex. The government's stupid. I promise you that one. Toxic and ineffective experts warn against herbal abortion remedies on TikTok. Amid the fear and confusion around abortion options across the country, some on social media have suggested taking herbs, but experts urge caution. As would I. It's the same thing that that's going to happen with the hangers. No more metal hangers. Ma'am, there's going to be a bunch of metal hangers. Sorry, mother dearest. Yes, I've seen the movie. Under pressure, Biden issues executive order on abortion. After the Supreme Court's ruling, some of the president's supporters have wanted him to push harder to protect abortion access. But details about what his new order will do remain unclear. First of all, he could veto the b He's literally allowed to veto the bill. Why is he not doing it is the real question. Like... I swear, people are stupid. After Roe, South Carolina considers more restrictions on abortion. The state legislator was the first to step into a post-Roe world, clearing the path for full bans in other conservative states. Next front line in the abortion wars, state support, state Supreme Courts. Court challenges to sweeping rollbacks of abortion rights must go through state supreme courts, many of which have been shaped by years of conservative activism. Seeing, like, first off, there was a the freaking 10 year old. There was the 10 year old that was raped by somebody, and now she can't have an abortion because the, like, come on. This is just pissing me off. Um, other current event. I mean, that's the main current event, and I'm just, I'm just done. Um, current events today. Um, so we all know that Ivanka Trump, Ivana, well, Ivanka Trump's Mother Ivana has died. Um, heh, that's funny though. Not really. It's sad that somebody died, but 
It's the circle of life. Um, Biden is set to leave Saudi Arabia with no announcement on oil. Whatever. Um, we'll make it to Palm Beach County debut in. Ooh! Evidently, Raising Canes is coming to an area near me. Which means that for the people that listen to my or watch my actual channel, we might be seeing some Raising Canes. So, Raising Canes will make its Palm Beach County debut in Royal Palm Beach this fall. When? July 14th, 2022. But let, before we get too excited, let's go ahead and take a quick break and I'll be right back with this article. Because y'all know I love eating sometimes. So, yeah. So, we are back. Not with any Raising Canes, unfortunately, but let's see. Let's read the article. Whether exploring the majestic natural area or relaxing at one of the many parks, there's one thing that will soon complete a perfect day out in Royal Palm Beach. Raising Canes Chicken Fingers. Raising Canes is set to make its Royal Palm Beach debut at 100 North State Road 7 this fall. The new restaurant will serve Raising Cane's One Love Craveable Chicken Finger meals through its double kitchen, multi-lane drive through and on its outdoor patio. In preparation for its grand opening, Raising Cane's will be hiring more than 150 local crew members in the weeks ahead. The new restaurant will hire for multiple positions ranging from crew to management level starting pay for crew is $15 per hour with the potential to earn an additional monthly bonus excuse me hire me I don't know working in the food industry just was not it honey when Royal Palm Beaches Raising Canes opens it will be one of the first in Florida we couldn't be more thrilled to continue our growth in Florida and can't wait to bring Caniacs in Royal Palm Beach, their very own Raising Cane's area leader of restaurants, John once said, We're also excited to bring more than 150 great new jobs to the community and that number will continue to rise because we have plans for additional growth in the area. At Raising Cane's, it all starts with 100% premium white meat chicken tenderloins that are marinated, hand battered, and cooked to order. The menu is also renowned for its craveable, some say addictive, secret recipe cane sauce, crinkle cut fries, coleslaw, which I don't really eat coleslaw, like coleslaw that much, uh, Texas toast, freshly brewed sweet tea, and fresh squeezed lemonade. Sorry, had to add that. Um, Raising Cane's is the nation's fastest growing chicken finger concept, rapidly approaching 700 restaurants in more than 35 states and Guam. Guam. As it opens 100 new restaurants across 10 new markets in 2022, more info is available at RaisingCane's.com. And that is it for this episode. Yes, it's a short one, but it's a good one. Literally a podcast special for y'all. Aren't we almost at 30 episodes too? I think we are. This might make the 29th. So almost. And... The only reason why this was a special was because this was the only thing I could come up with. It really didn't have a topic. The topic that was supposed to be filmed today didn't get filmed because it was supposed to have a guest that never came through. So, how unfortunate. But, hey, I wouldn't have known about Raising Cane's if it wasn't for this. So, yeah. Um, so, let's go ahead and do the outro while we're at it. Um, 
if you guys would like any of your stories from past episodes or idea have any ideas for further episodes, you could text or leave a voicemail to 561-320-7085. Again, text or leave a voicemail to seven to five six one three two zero seven zero eight five comment down below if you guys are watching the video portion of the podcast or DM first chances with chance on Instagram again talk to leave a voicemail to 561-320-7085 comment down below if you guys are watching the YouTube portion or DM first chances with chance on Instagram bye guys love you and see you guys next week